Good rainy morning, everybody. It's uh, still, uh, sun's trying to come out, but it's still trying to drizzle. So, uh, just getting the clothing and stuff put away. So, I have an empty hamper. Oh, man. And fortunately, last night when we were uh, done watching Tell Me Your Secrets on Amazon Prime, uh, some, she said the air conditioner or the furnace air conditioner or whatever was making a weird noise. So I tried to turn the air conditioner back on because she turned it up and uh, yeah, the outside unit turns on but the inside unit does not. The video is edited, it's right now almost exported. Getting ready to upload, just <laughs> just too tired last night. Just didn't, wasn't in the mood. I figured, well, with a closing shift, I might as well just, you know, live it up. So I'm trying to get some stuff done around here today though before I have to go to work, unfortunately. <clears throat> I don't know. It could be a good shift, it could be a bad shift. Well, this time will tell. But right now, just using the iPhone with the uh, Rode Video Micro. Um, last night I was looking at some more stuff. I'm like, God, I gotta stop doing this because that mobile kit, like I said, it's got that. <coughs> it's basically got this this one here on it. Except, in fact, I had this damn thing. If we go back to when Brian and I went to Ricketts Glen, this is the one I tried to hook to the backpack and I said it was too heavy. There was a major drop down down here and it had two threads. It was for the arms. But I don't think it had the uh, cold shoe mount. This one does not have a cold shoe mount on the top and has a cold shoe mount on the top of it. I just, I know the importance of them now. Um, of course, I wasn't doing this stuff back then. But anyway, so. And you can buy that piece by itself separate without the tripod. Then there's a 3K tripod that has a beautiful um, Joby. Uh, basically, it's a filmer filming uh, head on top with a quick release plate. But I'm like, I gotta stop. I can't. I, I don't need all these freaking tripods. I don't need all this. But. And I'm going to. I don't know. I think if my uncle doesn't get back to me about Sunday, I'm going to potentially do a video it won't be in the vlog um, I'm gonna make a separate video of literally every individual piece I've purchased in 2021 and all the different camera features that it can you know help me with because this is the monster camera that I use for shooting the moon that's the RX 10 mark 4 still have not replaced it but cold shoe mount and it does have audio jacks so I can actually hook this damn thing up as well without even and just need a you know the 3k tripod would actually be strong enough to hold this monster because this thing is heavy. The only flip downside of it is the screen does not flip out in any useable way to vlog with. That's the most it does. So you really don't know what you're getting, but I don't know. I might use it to, you know, film other productions. Uh, now that I'll have audio for it. Hell, I can even hook the wireless go to it and then have audio on me so it stays even all the time. Boy, the shutter button is such a waste of spent time and money. Uh, but anyway, I've uh, been cleaning and moving things around. The bathroom is now downstairs. is completely emptied for all, with except of Chell's food and stuff. So, And I did get a hold of maintenance. They're going to try to get air quality control in here today. I don't know what time. Probably after I've left, I would assume. But you never know. Um, still got some things to kind of figure out here because I don't know where I'm putting my fan now. Right now I'm watching a video of a basset hound grumbling at its owner because it wanted petted in. <laughs> okay, after several attempts of trying to repair it, I finally got it working again. That shutter button is, I, I, it's convenient if it works. So actually that was one of the other things I was looking at with the Joby. They do have a shutter button too. But it's dedicated to one device, which would be fine, I think. Although if I have to switch devices, that would be problematic. I don't know. Right now I'm just holding off. But uh, yeah, okay, so cleaning done. And uh, 1014, I have the deep cleaner. Hopefully, if it does leak, it's not been leaking too bad. I think what I'm doing wrong is I'm, I'm using it right up to the point, and it's still in run mode instead of suction mode. I don't know, so I'm trying something different there. And yes, the sun is coming out. It was raining this morning, and now the sun is shining. It's still cloudy, but uh, yeah. Yeah, scratch that nice weather. It's raining again. <laughs> Damn weather. Looked like it was going to be nice. Sun was coming out. Blue skies, but not for long. 
And I also got the shepherd's pole drilled into the stump like I wanted to do and hung that up before it really started raining. Now I just gotta get bird feed. <laughs> kind of thinking the squirrel's gonna have a hard time getting to that. And I thought yesterday was windy. Jeez. It is a good solid 15 mile an hour wind here this morning. Still this morning, right? 1130. Taking these guys out for a full lap, hopefully in the wind. 55 degrees out in shorts. A little brisk. <laughs> Come on. All right. But as you can see behind me, the skies have gotten blue again. So I wasn't kidding earlier. It actually did get nice for a little bit there and then it rained and now it's uh, sidewalks are drying again because of this high winds. So still no air conditioner people come. But <clears throat> as long as they come at some point, right? Oh, but yeah. Oh man. Boy, I am glad I have those microphones now. I'll tell you what, this system is, I wish I would have, well, I can wish all I want. I, I'm happy I have everything I do have because each little thing makes its its own little contribute, uh, contribution to the videos. So all I can do is step up, otherwise you might as well quit. Ooh, pretty tree. <laughs> I don't know where we're going guys. They did finally, I mentioned that they cut this tree up finally, so it's gone. Except, of course, once again, they left the stump. And we'll give Walter White a little shot here since I'm right up underneath this tree. <laughs> Alright guys, what's what's down here for us? Can walk through here now. Yeah, well, they just, yeah, instead of digging that out and throwing it away, they just leave it, just sit there. How long did it take that other one to get ripped out? Oh yeah, until they came to actually do the groundwork. <laughs> it's snow and flower petals. I'll dig it. Did that motorcycle cover try to get you, Priya? All of a sudden she just came tearing out from behind me. Motorcycle cover is waving in the wind. She hates that. What about you? You don't care. You know it's not going to get you. Across the way here, that motorcycle right there. The wind picked up, and as soon as that thing wa waved, she just took off running. Come on, kiddos. <laughs> She's leery of the second one. Come on, come on, baby. It's not gonna get you. <laughs> come on. <laughs> that's what. That's what she doesn't like. It's okay. Not gonna get you. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine, not gonna chase you. <laughs> Silly puppy. Is that, is that fun? Is that fun? Yeah. If I throw it in, I go get it all by myself. <laughs> I got a little more room to play. <laughs> Are you two recliner dogs? Hmm? You a recliner dog? Are you? You too? <laughs> All right, well, I'm actually not even using the arm. I took the arm off, but it's it's hitting the bracket. Oh well, for right now it works. Be nice if I don't have to take everything off all the time. How many miles can I go? Oh, cool, my windshield's full of pollen. 40. All right, that's good. We can go 40. We can go to work. I don't worry about it. 35 after anyway, I would never make it. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, but I have to. It's part of being an adult, unfortunately. Kind of a nice morning at home. Um, we got up around 7.30ish or so, 8 o'clock. Um, I guess it was in between there, 7.30 and 8 o'clock I got up. So I've been up for quite a while. Yeah, that should be fun. So the coach is there till five and I have the training CSM there till 7.30. I don't think you were turning here. I'm glad I didn't just go jet in front of you. Um, but I do have the second training CSM there till 11 tonight. I don't know if I have anybody else cover self-checkouts, but <laughs> Oh, a deer got hit. Oh, 
So, yeah, the weather is, uh, it's, I don't know what it's supposed to get up to. I don't know, it's as high as it's supposed to go right now. Um, but, windy. Very windy. So, it wouldn't be a very good day to be off anyway. Just, <sighs> tonight, tomorrow night, and then Sunday off at night. And like I said, I've not heard from my uncle. Um, I might text him again and, you know, or maybe even give him a call. Say, uh, you know, I'm off Sunday if you're free. If not, but I do want to kind of, if not, I don't even know if I want to bother him at this point. Because I do kind of want to make that little video of all the different equipment. And, you know, I don't know if I'm, how I'm going to do this yet. Because I'm going to have to use something to record it with. So, probably going to use the big, the big Sony to do most of it. We'll see. Well, we got a move over pattern down here. They're trying to replace, I think, the uh, broken you know, uh, guardrail again. The other truck went off here. I didn't show it. Um, the truck went off here last week. Quite a ways down because normally it's like right about where these two vehicles normally are. It was normally where they crash. <laughs> This guy made it almost out of the corner before he went over. Down here. So, boys in the guardrail again. Well, we got some rain while it was 30 feet in the air on the scissor lift. So much fun in the wind. Oh, they came in to fix a plumbing issue in the garden center. And uh, somehow I got my my dumb ass was like, oh yeah, I'll go out and do it. I really would. if I'd had a hoodie or something, the the one garden center associate did finally hand me a poncho when it started raining. But uh, that was that was cold. I am chilled. I am. I'm gonna go get gas in this thing, and then I'm gonna go get myself a Starbucks. I think. I was gonna grab something to eat, but I don't think I need that. I was gonna grab myself a hoodie at Santa's Club, but again. I don't think I need to spend the money. <laughs> oh, not only did I get to go basically above the garden center, just like the roof of that, then I got to go up in the ceiling to turn the freaking water back on. Which we had to wait for management to come back because I was thinking it was on the outside of the building. It was facing the inside of the building. It was, I didn't want to make sure turn <laughs> turn the wrong knob and end up you know flooding the store. That would have sucked. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. All right, heat. Come on. Let's go. I'm chilly. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I <laughs> got gas the very moment I did because now it's windy and blowing again. I just got a cup of coffee here. I wasn't going to travel anywhere else. All right, forty-seven, forty-four dollars and one cent. I couldn't get away from the penny. It jumps like two and three cents at a time. Draw me nuts. Alrighty. Where's this lady going? I'm gonna go this way so she can get in. Oh man, this weather is just miserable. It is cold and it is just raining in sheets. And I don't have a jacket with me because I'm a dum dum. And of course, you know, it's out of season for anything like that right now. <laughs> yeah, temperatures, you know, it's down to 55 degrees. When you're 20 some feet in the air on a scissor lift in the wind, it feels colder than that. Alrighty guys, good evening. Well, what a fun night this turned into being. Sarcasmly fun. Uh, so, a gentleman walks in with a uh, beautiful pit bull, it looked like a pit bull um, boxer mix. Um, and they asked, they're not supposed to, but he claimed, well, I guess he just said it was a service dog. And he had some blue thing on him that made him look official. The dog was not a service dog. He was not trained. And he took a big old shit in, the, in electronics. So the guy left. Then we had a group of kids running around with a dildo in the store. Thinking they were being funny. And ran out the store and they were being belligerent. Um, someone needs to take their kid across their me and spank their ass bare with a handful of tacks is what they need to do um, and then we think it was the same people 
um, that actually inflated and tied off a condom and stuck it behind the mask sign as you're walking out of the store. <sighs> I'm telling you, I'm just, this, con this world is, is just, I don't get it. Maybe I'm just too old. It's not funny. It's, it's just ignorant and childish and stupid. Thank you.